let's queer up business. Kellogg sued for woke, workplace, and RuPaul, Jesus. A conservative legal group on Wednesday urged a U.S. anti-discrimination agency to investigate Kellogg over workplace diversity policies it says are unlawful and accuse the cereal maker of sexualizing its products. This is the second complaint filed this week against a company by America First Legal, a nonprofit run by Stephen Miller, who was an advisor to former President Donald Trump. America First, in a letter to the U.S. Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, that's the EEOC, said Kellogg's hiring, training, and promotion practices are designed to achieve a balance based on race and sex that violates the federal law banning workplace bias. It also criticized marketing campaigns, including boxes of Cheez-It crackers featuring drag queen RuPaul and cereal boxes celebrating LGBTQ plus Pride Month. Many legal experts expect an uptick in legal challenges to corporate diversity programs in the wake of a June U.S. Supreme Court ruling barring race-conscious admission policies in higher education. The complaints are part of a campaign by conservative legal groups and Republican legislators raging against corporations that have enacted so-called woke policies on social issues such as race, gender, and diversity. America First said it had also sent a letter to Kellogg's board of directors on Wednesday threatening shareholder litigation if the company maintains the allegedly illegal policies. There's a lot to unpack here. I'm just going to start by saying, yeah, this is coming down the pike, right? Like that is like we, we have to be really, really scared. And <laughs> I don't want to say scared. We have to be very mindful because there's no question that that uh, the, the, essentially what's known as the affirmative action case, right, that came down at the Supreme Court. This is going to be used in a lot of different ways that don't necessarily pertain to higher education, but actually more to corporations, right? And the different ways that they're able to, to talk about DEI initiatives um, as essentially being an affront um, to, to stockholders, right? Like that is the very idea that it might actually somehow uh, uh, threaten um, capital gains, right? Like that's exactly what this boils down to on basis of race and gender. There's always been a kind of fight against what is understood as equality versus democracy that often people in, on the right have viewed um, equality as an infringement on their democracy, right? Like that is that it's actually some kind of attack on their ability to control markets. Um, that's been operating for decades. And, and here, the Supreme, one thing that the Republicans have been doing to this end that I feel like we have to acknowledge, they're in this in the long game, right? That's what they did with the abortion. They, they started the minute 1970, even before 1973 with Roe v. Wade, they were finding ways to undo abortion. And that's been happening for a long time since, since black civil rights in 1964 and into 65. We've seen them being chipped away little by little, and this is a big part of that. Well said. Well, well said. I, 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 I would never be able to articulate it in that way, but I had the same sentiment, if you will, only because, you know, Kellogg, Kellogg's is not doing anything wrong, no. right? The DEI initiative is very real across America. Yeah. But what's scary is that because they are a public company, there could be a war with their shares and their stock. So we don't, I mean, people can do crazy things. Board members can make crazy moves. And so sure, even though it feels like a woke environment, like companies across America need this initiative because a lot of the talent sits within yeah. the LGBTQ community, yeah. the brown and, and black community. Yeah, well, so they want to get the best candidate there is out there. And, and they're not always white. No. They're not always white. But again, because you're public, you can go down easily yeah. and it has nothing to do with your woke environment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well said. You know, I want to think about what a boring world. Stephen Miller and his followers Ugh, must live Stephen Miller. and they want to impose that world on all of us. They don't want us to um, be seen. They don't want us to be heard. They don't want us to dress like we like we want to. They want to control every single part of our lives. They want to literally erase us. And I know that's not new. We've been saying that for a while. But now the Supreme Court is being decision is being used um, as a bludgeon. For sure. Mm -hmm. Against corporations. Florida, this last legislative session, passed something against DEI. And let's remember what DEI stands for. Diversity. Diversity. Equity. Equity. And inclusion. And inclusion. Because I, like, I like to act like I'm a third grade teacher. <laughs> yes. Me too. Uh, I'm, but, I dig it. But, but it does. <laughs> they're against, that's, they're openly against diversity, equality, and yeah. inclusion. They want to exclude. Bad words. They exclude. Yeah. <laughs> 
they exclude in order to get votes. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. That's the that's exactly. the goal. And the, it's unmasked. It's not something they're trying to sneak under the rug. No, right? at all. But they're, what they're afraid of is that their children and their children's children aren't going to get the job right. because of these initiatives. And it's trash because if you're good at what you do and you you take the time and you're a Harvard graduate, you're going to get the job. It's right. not that it's 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 pretty black and white. But because of these initiatives, they're afraid that their family are not going to get the job. Mm -hmm. Lest we forget, I feel like I just want to throw this in because Stephen Miller, that's a, that's a that's a name I hoped I never had to say again <laughs> after Trump left office. But I mean, he's a monster and a half. And like uh, he was also among the many things he did. Well, he was like the chief architect and designer of many of Trump's anti-immigrant policy. Mm -hmm. um, and that is that this is what we're seeing in Florida and among other states. They, they take a kind of, you know, a page from that playbook and, and they've been building on the work that's been done decades and decades into the making. And we're just seeing kind of manifest in this way. But it's it's he, this is we this is oh, right. We have to pay attention to what's happening. Just pay. This is this is something we have to keep an eye out for sure, because this is this is going to play out in a lot of strange ways, like unsurprising ways or surprising. I, I'm losing my mind. Surprising. Ways, yeah. Or unsurprising. Oh. We are Queer News Tonight, the world's first and only live daily LGBTQ plus evening news show brought to you from Happening Out Television Network. We operate in the same model of PBS and NPR, but for the LGBTQ plus community, we educate, inform, and entertain by supporting the 10 pillars of our LGBTQ plus community with more than 100,000 a week watching us on Roku, Apple Television, and other channels. To keep the story going, we accept donations with 100% transparency. Stay updated and live authentically with Queer News Tonight.